Hello everybody and welcome to this video. When we are looking at this build, we really can say that this computer is looking very clean. All cables are in a good position and look neatly laid. However, in 2020 Nvidia released a new generation of graphics cards, which present a new challenge for clean builds. Caused by a new PCB layout of the RTX 3000 Founders Editions, they decided to use a new Micron 3.0 12-pin power connector instead of one or two normal 8-pin connectors. In order to transfer the voltage from the PCU to the GPU, we now need the supplied NVIDIA cable adapter or we have to buy an expensive and or rare adapter from any manufacturers, for example cable mod or Seasonic. In this video we are talking how to handle the original 3080 or 39 adapter. In the direct comparison you can see the difference. On a classic GPU, the power connector is mounted at a 90 degrees angle to the PCB. The result is a natural cable direction up or downwards. The 12-pin connector of 3080 and 3090 is mounted at an angle of 45 degrees to the right side of the card. While it has been rotated 90 degrees around its own axis. The alignment of the connector and the poor design of Nvidia's cable are the two problems we need to solve. We all know. Nvidia could do it like this one I found on Corsair.com, but they preferred something creepy like this one. In order to make your dream computer look good, you need two more components. A black sleeve PCU cable extension kit and a simple large black cable tie. Both components are not very expensive if you don't already have them at home. With the situation of our new 12-pin adapter layout and all the cables, we have four options to mount the PCU cables. Follow the floor of 45 degree angle around the card like the EVGA power link. Try to hide the two 8-pin connectors underneath the GPU. Do the epic split or show what you have. Be proud of it and try to look fucking sexy. In option 1 we are following the flow of the 45 degree mounted connector. Sounds absolutely smart, but the result is killing my inner Sheldon. The cable is hiding a lot of the GPU and with it the beautiful white shining LED logo. The inspiration was cool, but it doesn't work with components that we have. In option 2 we are talking about hiding the two 8 pin connectors and an the GPU. This should work in many cases, but it poses two problems. The flow of the cables does not match the lines of the case. This will give your build an unnatural look. The second problem is that the two fat 8 pin connects and between the airflow of Nvidia's new cooling concept. The GPU could get warmer this way, so forget it. Option 3. Yeah, I thought let's try something crazy, maybe it will look surprisingly amazing. But I realized very fast that the split is just epic if Jean Claude Van Damme is doing it. Let's come to these guys. Option 4. In my opinion, this is the only way to let the original NV adapter cable looking good. Use your cable tie and the black extension kit and et voila, here's the result. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, you're right, it isn't beautiful for real. But let me explain what the problem is. You have to fix some points to let it look great. In the next picture you can see lots of lines who aren't parallel to other lines in your building. We can see angles who are not fitting with the most important angle in PC building. I'm talking about 90 degrees angle, which is fucking everywhere in your case. So we have to make some changes. In a few seconds we can see how it should be for a good look. Take your cable tie and place it on the right position you can see in the video. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the result of our little fix. If you like this video, I would appreciate a like or subscribe. See you next time. Just smarty.